Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to take a look at an example of how to do the Hardy-Weinberg principle in an exam question. So here we have an exam question and in the in this exam question you, this is what you're provided with. Now it normally tells you this bit here that I've written out however not these bits. So the free P is basically the frequency of the dominant allele so for example all the big R's within the population. Q is the frequency of the recessive allele, for example, all of the recessive R's within the population. P squared is the frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype, for example, all of the big R, big R dominant genotypes. 2PQ is the frequency of the heterozygous, so for example, in this example, it would be big R and small r. And then the Q squared is the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype, for example, um, small r, small r. Now normally in an exam question you'd normally start off with the q squared because this is the one that's easiest to find from the exam information that's given because if they provide you with the dominant genotypes of the dominant genotypes you do not know of those dominant genotypes which are p squared and which are 2pq because you don't know of the dominant phenotype which are heterozygous and which are homozygous dominant. So we normally start off with the um, Q squared, which is quite obviously the recessive genotype and therefore the recessive phenotype as well. So here's a typical exam question. You're welcome to pause and have a go at this. But there's some key words and key information in the question here we have to be aware of. So for example, we have a black form of a ladybird and the black form is the dominant form. Now be careful because they do try and catch you out with these bits and pieces of information. It also tells us that the red is recessive in the question. And then it gives us some information. It tells us here that we have 50 blackbirds, um, sorry, we have 50 ladybirds here that are um, the black form. Now don't forget black form is dominant. So this is your P squared and your two PQ. You do not know of those 50, which are heterozygous and which are homozygous dominant. So therefore we usually start off with the Q squared. We know that Q squared is this 296 individuals here that are red. They're the recessive, they're the recessive individuals. So I'll do that divided by the total number of ladybirds I have. The total number is 296 plus 50. So that's where I get the Q squared from. I then do um, Q squared. In order to find out Q, I do the square root of 0 0.85, which would give me 0 0.92. And then in order to find P, I would do one take away Q, which would give me 0 0.08. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about Hardy-Weinberg. Just remember to start off with the Q squared and everything should fall into place. Good luck with your exams and all the best.